we are very grateful for the experience and the opportunity given to us to take our knowledge, ideas, and culture to different parts of the world. Hi everyone, my name is Abigail. I love listening to music and my motivation of this project is that we can work as professionals and not just as students. And we can show you our potential as a whole country. Hello, my name is Fabio. Uh, my hobbies are uh, playing video games, doing exercises and drawing, and I am interested in being part of this project since I consider it to be a great opportunity to do something great. Hi, I'm Novak, I'm 16. I like to make other clouds, learn and make new friends. I want to be in this project because I want to change the world and live and market. Hello everybody, my name is Alexander and I'm 15 years old. I like listening to romantic music, cook and travel. That was the reason that I'm participant in this project is because I really like searching for and creating new projects that help improve our world. Thank you. Hello, my name is Virgo. Thank you for the chance of the experience of participating in the project. Hello, nice to quit the teachers. My name is Anjali. I like to dance, sing, draw, and create. My motivation to be part of this project is to experience this process of creating a greenhouse for Mars and to show that a group of teenagers can do incredible things. Hi, my name is Jeremy. I just want to say thank you for this opportunity that you are giving us. I never thought that I would be doing projects about Mars, space, greenhouse and all that stuff. Guess the dream is coming true. Thank you so much. Hi, my name is Anamin. I'm 12 years old. I like to study new languages, mathematics, and my motivation to participate in this project is that I want to do something important that helps the world. I'm so happy and grateful for the opportunity because I can learn new things. Hi, my name is Natalie. I like to try new things and practice a sport. I am very motivated to participate in this project. Science is something new and interesting for me. These are our project evidence. Those are our first greenhouse prototypes. This is the final model of the greenhouse prototype. The perimeter form led to take better advantage of the base space and the top part give more stability and need less space. The materials we will use could be the aluminium for the base and polycarbonate for the higher part. Because these materials are resistant and lighter. The sensor of CO2 and the sensor of the humidity are located at the base. The base measures 14 cm. 13 cm will be full of soil. Potatoes should be planted to 25 cm of the base and 5 cm of the ground. The process to follow will be First, nourish the soil with the bio, then with the soil, 
sow the plants and seal the greenhouse gate. After that, introduce the oxygen, expel the CO2 and close the valves to do the water side process. So, we arrive at this point that we ask ourselves, why potatoes? How important are they? Well, good evening everyone, my name is Abigail, and today I will talk about Andean potatoes. Potatoes, as we all know, are toppers, so they grow up under the ground. Especially in our country, Peru, we plant almost 4,000 types of potatoes, permitting us to know a lot about them. Important. In the highlands, we plant the Andean potato, which is the best one to update the atmosphere of Mars. It has a lot of benefits as an energy source because it has carbohydrates that generates starch and oxygenation. Very important in this case. Veal. What's it? Well, veal is when the earth warms in the compost generate humic acids that make a liquid, and this, together with other substances, generates veal. Biol is important because it stimulates plant growth and provides protection against pests and diseases and helps withstand extreme weather events. And why potatoes? Well, because it's very common to see them in high mountains where they grow at high altitude and everyone knows that more high, less oxygen, the climate is colder and it has low atmospheric pressure. This potato is super super resistant to those conditions and finally can comply as usual with its germination process and growth. Finally, the potato's preparation before the greenhouse. It's not too easy to the potato plant to grow without a specific term that is only possible on earth. So, first we will need to plant on earth the seeds. Then, wait a period of time for the potato's germination to transplant the seedlings and finally put them into the greenhouse. Now, how incredible are they to live in those states and produce food for us? Definitely is one of the best options to plant on Mars because they can adapt to several climate conditions including if we could on this planet, Mars. Thank you.